2006 Chevy Trailblazer, and this is, uh, I have a P0014, I have the VVT solenoid, so this is also known as the camshaft position sensor um, solenoid, this is like the VVT solenoid, in other words, this is the camshaft position sensor, it's a little plastic plastic piece, it's very, very easy to change out, literally just a 10 millimeter socket, this one is also a 10 millimeter uh, socket, one bolt right there. Basically, this is right here. The bolt is right there. You unplug the connectors um, and then you just Since there's not enough room since this is pretty long you have to remove uh, the power steering pump um, And the pulley so basically you just uh, Go through the pull you take the belt off right this all I needed was a, um, a so uh, or Whatever this is called right here <laughs> and you put this on the pulley and you know you pull you tighten it and the belt comes off right boom goes right there in the little socket pull the pulley off once you pull the pulley off then uh you can spin this pulley freely and there's holes in it this is the power steering pump and basically uh as you spin this there's three bolts one on the bottom one on the right and then one up on top here and these bolts come out. Once they come out, this moves freely. All you need to do is push it all the way back. Then once you push it back, then you can pull this out. Um, just spin it. I used uh, channel locks to pull uh, the part out and then get a flathead right behind it. And then you pull it out. Put the new one in. Same thing. Make sure you lube up the, the low ring a little bit so that it doesn't stick and roll up. Um, otherwise, you should be good. You install that. Once you install that... Um, you put the power steering pump back on, the belt back on, and you're good to go. This is what the old one looked like. The filters on this weren't, like, they didn't have metal shavings on it, which was a good sign that the, the engine doesn't have mechanical damage. It's got 230,000 miles, uh, which is fantastic because it's going to keep on running as long as it doesn't have mechanical issues. So hopefully this should take care of the P0014 code. I do know that when they say you replace one of them, you replace both of them, right? So replace both the camshaft position sensor and the VVT solenoid. That's what you're going to find this named under instead of like the camshaft solenoid and stuff like that. So it's VVT solenoid for the Vortec 4.2. Okay, that's what I did. Uh, and it took literally probably just 30 minutes. So it was really easy. Um, it kind of, you know, you'd think it'd scare you away because you have to pull the pulley back um, and the belt off and stuff like that, but it's extremely easy. So I'm going to hopefully... Uh, have that code be gone and we'll we'll go from there thank you guys all right so this is really interesting this is the old vvt solenoid and they said uh you can check to see if it works um by hooking it up to electricity i'm not sure if you're supposed to step it down with like less voltage i'm sure you are but i'm gonna show you guys what happens when you hook it up um obviously safety first i put gla my glasses on but here is what it looks like when it turns on It's not making any mechanical movement. It sounds like it's trying to, but it sounds like it's stuck. So that's an issue. Um, it says it should be moving the oil around or however it does that. I'm not exactly sure, but obviously if you give it power and it's not working, then it's bad. So that should be more than enough power. So obviously we gave it power and it's bad. I'm going to count this as a bad VVT solenoid. Let's go, baby.